So hi dear Cancer, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Cancer Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the next 72 hours. It can go up to four to five days also. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are. Let's see Cancer, what is happening. <clears throat> We have the Knight of Cups, the World card, the Ten of Cups. Okay. So the Hierophant, the Empress and the Two of Wands. Somebody is feeling like there's a lot of potential between you and them to have growth and expansion and have this happily ever after kind of energy or having this energy of uh, um, like together forever kind of energy. Somebody is very spiritual, very creative, very beautiful also, charming or beautiful looking or they... They feel like uh, this for you. So somebody is waiting. Okay. Somebody is in this energy of waiting for the right time or waiting for the right situation to come towards you. To propose you might be or to come in your life like a husband or wife or something like this. So somebody is watching you from a distance and they are very much interested in having a relationship with you. That can lead to marriage or commitment also. Beautiful. So Cancer, when it comes to the surface level, this is somebody who feels like there is some kind of ending going on between you and somebody in your life. Okay, or this is someone who feels like uh, they cannot come towards you until unless you are done with somebody else or something else. There is there is someone in your energies who knows that you are going through some kind of separation or breakup or something like this. Either you are getting out of a marriage or commitment. Uh, committed relationship or you are uh, you are still in this energy of ending winding your things with someone else and this person knows that and this person is very much interested in having a again a marriage or commitment or long term partnership with you but they know there is something needs to be ended something needs to be ended before they come towards you before they make any kind of move towards you in some cases you already know this person that this is a friend kind of energy or this is somebody who is around you but not taking any action because they know that you are going through some kind of shit right now. Burden some situation right now. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio. A lot of Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy anyway. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for this connection or for this situation right now. Let's see Cancer. We have the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the King of Cups. Okay. Wow. Queen of Swords. This person wants a lot of clarity and truth in the situation. A lot of clarity and truth in the situation and uh, uh, this person is definitely someone who is very emotionally mature person. Very good person actually. I want to meet this person. Okay. So this is somebody who definitely uh, want to have a connection with you. See the queen of cups and king of cups. This person wants to make a pair with you. But they want to remain silent. They want to remain silent until unless everything is going to be finalized between you and somebody else or between them or somebody else might be. Could be possible. I, I forgot that angle. So there is something between you guys that needs to be resolved before you guys can become a pair. So till that time, till the time you guys can become this queen of cups and king of cups, this person wants to remain silent and wants to do their own stuff and remain mysterious, remain in this energy of uh, I don't even exist. <laughs> okay. Okay, honey. Yep. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio... And Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What is happening Cancer? Cancer Pisces, lots of uh, water energies are coming towards you today. Like coming in this uh, reading today. So it's overly, it's like something is overly emotional or someone is overly emotional here. Could be you, could be the other person. It's all about emotions right now for you guys. Let's see what action this person is going to take towards you in the next 72 hours, if any. Two of Cups, Empress, Two of Swords. Oh God. So when it comes to the surface level, to the action level, this person is very much in their head about things. Things are up in the air between you and this someone specific. I think somebody is in love with you, uh, uh, Cancer, and you know it. Most probably you know it. In some cases, this is a silent lover who is loving you from a distance, but not sure when to take the action because they are on the crossroads. They cannot leave you. They cannot live with you. <laughs> okay. So, this is somebody who is hoping for a, a, you know, a soulmate connection, having growth and expansion. But when it comes to the surface level of taking any kind of action, boom, no, nothing. You can expect uh, somebody coming towards you or somebody is uh, like, uh, you know, connecting with you on and off. Might be they're testing waters in between. 
but this is somebody who is having a long term plans with you when it comes to the action nothing up in the air not they don't know what to do so you could be dealing with the libra or taurus or cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius let's see uh, what is the guidance for you people okay what the hell what the hell what is happening just give me a second yeah let's see what is the guidance for you we have the 8 of swords the 3 of pentacles the magician see uh, cancer you have to uh, stop manifesting from a mindset of not being clear about what you exactly want in your life sometimes you want a partner back in your life you want somebody back in your life and sometimes you're like nope i want a new person a new energy to collaborate with me to work with me and i want a new energy a new connection a new relationship again you are manifesting from this mindset of not being able to be clear about crystal clear about what exactly you want the universe is going to bring you a lot of confusion if you are going to manifest in this energy of confusion so if you want to manifest something or someone in your life whether it's a past person or a new energy or new person i don't recommend uh, manifesting a past person or past energy back in your life because if it was meant to be for you it could be it, it's there on like it could have been uh, here only right i don't know how to say this to you <laughs> my grammar is grammar is very poor anyway so the person must be with you right now if they were meant for you right if they are not with you so it's like gone and uh, it's not meant for you again if you are going to manifest new person or new energy a new soulmate so if the past person is meant for you they will come back i assure you that okay but if it is like meant for you that is the situation because they also have a free will they also have this energy of manifesting they also have the same power that you are having so you cannot force anybody even if you are manifesting them like like crazy to be with you honestly speaking so whenever somebody is saying uh, ignore the 3d reality when it comes to a specific person i i say you should not because we are human beings we have feelings we have free wills okay as you are liking them or as you are obsessing over them they might be obsessing over something else or someone else so one of uh, actually i think you might get uh, get uh, you might end up getting hurt okay in this energy of trying to manifest that particular person obsessively instead try to manifest a new person a new soulmate a new energy uh, that's meant for you so that if the past person is meant for you they will come back naturally you don't have to do anything then specifically then right i hope you are getting my answer getting my feelings So anyway thank you so much for tuning in cancer i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste